Hi family, welcome into our channel and welcome to our broadcast of You Are Enough and I am your host, Prophetess Nikki. I want to thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we want you to hit that subscribe button. We want you to like our videos, continue to share them. And don't forget, family, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that when we upload future videos, you're going to get notified because you don't want to miss what God is doing through our channel. Thank all of you for your continued support, your prayers, all of your acts of kindness. We're so grateful to each and every one of you. I want you to know this. So be warned because the enemy is going to come as an angel of light. The enemy is going to masquerade himself as light. Nothing but the devil in disguise. Every time that God gets ready to elevate you, we got to be careful, family. We have to stay prayed up. Every single time, not some. Every time that God is on that path to elevate you, to bring increase in your, your life, to increase your gifting, your calling, to increase the anointing on your life, to give you opportunities that you have been waiting for and fervently praying for, consistently, every single time, the enemy is going to come. But guess what? He's not going to come in darkness because he's going to expect you to be able to call him out, to be able to discern. See, this is why the angels, the Satan masquerades himself as an angel of light because he know you are drawn to light. He know you're drawn to the truth. So you have to be careful and you got to be mindful. This is why when everyone comes to you, you pray. Keep your spiritual antennas up. Keep your spiritual radar up because you cannot afford to be set back. You cannot afford to be delayed, but the enemy wants to do that. So the enemy is going to come to you as an angel of light, but it's going to be a devil in disguise. It's going to be a devil in disguise. Haven't you ever gone through that before in your life and you thought a person was the greatest person in the world? You thought they were the most honest, truthful, trustworthy person, loving, loyal, committed, faithful person to you? And then you find out that they were the devil in disguise? That's, be that's because the enemy monitors your life so much and he knows what you like and he knows how you like it. So what better way does the enemy come to destroy God's children by masquerading to be something that he's not. The enemy will always make you believe if you if you listen and if you're not careful that he's something that he's not. So be warned and keep your eyes open. Keep your ears in tune. But how would you know? How would you know that this is God? How would you know if this is not God? God said his light, his, his word is like a lamp unto our feet. And it's a light unto my pathway. The word of God is a lamp unto your feet. And it's a light unto your pathway. God's sheep know his voice and a stranger he's not going to follow. The enemy knows you like light. The enemy knows how much you're drawn to the truth. So he will come to you to make you believe that he's something that he's not family. He wants you to believe that sin is pleasing he wants you to believe that he's good. This is how the enemy bamboozles so many of us. The enemy will get you if you're not strong. You have to be sober-minded. You have to be vigilant. And you have to always keep that spiritual armor up because the enemy is coming. He's coming to steal, to kill, and to destroy everything that God has given you. And you can't allow that. There's a devil going to be in the skies. And if you're not careful, you're going to be fooled by the enemy because he's going to masquerade himself to be everything that you want him to be. He's going to act exactly like you want him to be. He's going to talk just like you want him to talk. He's going to conform to the person that you want, want him or her to be until a certain point in your life. And then the layers are going to come off. The mask is going to come off. So you can't ignore the red flags at this point. You cannot ignore the warnings that God has given you. He's given you these warnings because he says warning comes before destruction. It is not God's will to be, to have you to be destroyed. That is the enemy. That is the kingdom of darkness. The enemy wants to be like God so much. He's such a fraud. So you must be careful not to be so 
in a, in a position in your life where you, you're just so vulnerable and you're so needy. Because if the enemy sees that you're needy in different areas of your life, he's going to target you in these areas. So be mindful as God elevates you. You be mindful of the people that you are entertaining. You be mindful of these people that are going to come to your life. Just be careful. Be careful because you've come so far and you've come this far, family, to go all the way to the finish line. God didn't allow you to get to this point so that you can be deterred and allow the enemy to cause you to go back. So we're praying for you. We're praying for you fervently that you keep your spiritual antennas on and that you keep your spiritual eyes open and you keep your spiritual ears in tune to the word of God. Don't forget what God says in his word, that his word is a lamp unto your feet and is a light unto your pathway. It is the truth that you know that's going to make you free. And a lot of people are looking for truth outside of God's word. And this is where the enemy is going to destroy so many people. The truth is in God. The truth that you seek, the truth that you need to know is in God's word. It is not anywhere else. If you're looking at anywhere else, if you're looking at anything else and anybody for the truth, you need to look into the word of God because this is where your truth is going to come from. And it's the truth that you know that's going to make you free. It's just like when God tells us we perish for what we don't know. We perish for a lack of knowledge. The areas that you're weak in, the areas that you don't have the knowledge that you need to know to grow and to progress in your life, this is where the enemy destroys you. Because you don't know. If you don't know you have a right to have something that God says, the enemy will beat you in that area because you don't know you have a right to have it. This is why you got to really dive into the word of God to get to know it. You got to eat the word of God, sleep, and you got to drink the word of God. You got to nourish your spirit because you're a spirit and you're led by the spirit. You're not led by the flesh. So be careful because this is a devil in disguise. He's going to masquerade himself to be something that is not. He's going to come to you as light. He's going to come to you with half truths. He's going to wear a mask. But as the days go by, that mask is going to fall off. The layers are going to fall off. But what condition will you be in by then? So we pray today that you will not get ensnared and entangled by the claws of the enemy. We pray protection over your life. We pray for your home and your families and your, your finances, your health and your wealth, your happiness. We pray for all these things and we secure them in the blood of Jesus Christ. Don't forget to like the videos once more, family, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to share them and don't forget to hit that notification bell. I'm not reaching out to anybody, so please, family, don't get scammed. You all see the scammers in the comment section of our video, so please be mindful. Whenever you see these replies, just delete them. Report these people and keep your head up. Look up and live. And remember... To see God in everything. Your faith is taking you to amazing places. This is Prophetess Nikki. It's a great day. It's a new day. And I'm happy to be a part of that. We love you, family. You've come too far. Don't go back. Don't paticate with the enemy. Because the enemy is not playing games with you. He's out to kill, steal, and destroy. Don't play with him. Don't play. If he's gone, let the enemy stay gone. Don't, don't give him the invitation. Evict the enemy out of your home. Evict the enemy out of your life. Evict the enemy out of your heart, out of your emotions. Do that so you can gain an amazing life. God bless you. We'll talk later. Bye-bye.